loaded up on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all, we found a place to launch our boat. Hallelujah. It is time to go fishing. And today's fishing adventure is sponsored by Fish Brain. All right, fishing freaks, I am a Fish Brain member and I use Fish Brain Pro. This is a multi-species fishing app that allows you to be better prepared for your next fishing adventure. If y'all follow the link I left in the top of the description, you can easily download Fish Brain and try out Fish Brain Pro. And with that link, you'll get 30% off Fish Brain Pro quarterly. Some awesome features that you get with Pro is you get exact catch positions, best baits and lures to use, ultimate fishing forecasts, depth map, private waypoints, and private groups so you can share some of your fishing information with your best buds. And let me show you how some of this works. So with the app, you're gonna be able to log all of your catches and check out you know, your personal records and just log all, all sorts of species that it automatically identifies by taking photos of the fish. But if you look at the interactive map and, and the catch map where you can see where everyone has caught fish and posted, it is amazing. There are just thousands and thousands of little bitty green dots. And you click on those green dots and you're gonna see information about where these fish are being caught and how they were caught and all sorts of really helpful data, especially if you've never been to a place. Waypoints is a really good tool in FishBrain Pro. You can mark these locations just like you would on a, on a GPS or on your big electronics on a boat, but it's all right there on your smartphone so then you can uh, put all this information and pictures into that waypoint. And if you're bank fishing, especially, this is a highly, highly useful tool. So if you're looking for areas to fish around you or you just wanna take your logging experience to a whole new level, download Fish Brain Pro. Oh, and by the way, the fishing spot we're about to go to, someone literally marked that spot on the Fish Brain app. So today we are going out after the mighty white bass and it is a drastic cold front here. Flooded waters, cold front situation, but what a lot of these fish are, are getting done doing right now is spawning. I also have a new fish fryer that I've been meaning to show y'all and try out. I've tested it just once, just to kind of get the hang of it. Now I'm ready to let it rip. The white bass is my second favorite fish to eat. Oh, everybody knows, I mean the crappie, that's, that's probably the best, but the white bass, really a lot of fun. But first, we got a battle the wind and the waves. I'm in a calm pocket right now, but as soon as I get out here on the main lake, it's gonna be a doozy. So I gotta put you up into one of the compartments until we get to our spot. Looks like y'all are going into the cooler. Just broken out my spoon box. Got some fish marked on the unit out here on a main lake situation. Oh yeah, there's a tasty group of them there. Oh, got it. Shoot, that one whacked it. Hey, yeah, hey now, hey. <sighs> Keeper. Got him. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Some keepers. There's two down. Come on now. Oh, yeah. A couple of them on the unit. They're about to get smoked here. Oh, if my spoon wouldn't jacked up. Get up in here! You were just glued on the bottom and did not want much movement. This fish is warmer than the air. So strange. Okay. Join the party in there. Whoo, man, I'm so cold. I'm just having to fight it. I'm using a 3 8 ounce spoon here, jigging spoon. I think this is 15, yeah, 15 pound fluoro. Hitting it. 
Come on, we're gonna put you in the grease. Come on, they're hitting it. Ah, geez. Every time I drop it down there. Oh, got him that time. That one feels juicy. Yeah, baby. Oh, you are going to be tested. Tested in the new fish fryer. <laughs> Open up that well and keep it handy back there. My virtual fishing partners. It is so windy, I apologize for this terrible wind. Oh, shoot. We're off to my left. I need that pan optic system, y'all. That's what I need. Be unstoppable on these things. Get bit, got him. Just had to go a little left. Shoo! These are all keepers. Come here. Hey! Now we're on them. Just get me back out there. I think they're liking it like swimming motion rather than jigging. Got him. Yeah! Yeah! Get on in here, big sucker. These are post spawn. Very skinny, beat up. They've done their duty to the world, created more. Now it is time for them to enter the grease pit of doom. Whew. All right, so we're gonna switch it up because they seem to be liking the movements more than just the, the jigging. That's a good one right there. Both of these options are great. So we're fishing about 17 feet of water. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. It's like one of my favorite lures of all time. Just catch it. They seem to like it, cast it out and retrieved. So we'll switch up our methodology here and go with a uh, kind of a balancing bottom, re you know, real retrieve. Going with this blue and white, the shad color. Got a real overcast day, so thinking painted white will stand out. Uh, this ought to do the trick right here. <laughs> I'm cold. Wow. Why is no one on the lake today? I wonder. Just gonna give a little retrieve and then stop it. Let it hit the bottom, that way I know I'm, I'm staying close. I'm on a giant point. A giant point where the fish can just roam around. There's no specific piece of cover, rocks. Really no drop off either. They're just uh, swimming around. Just came off a big spawn. Probably in a great mood, ready to eat. There's a couple on the graph, got him. Oh, baby. Oh, got him way out there. Holy moly. Long cast. Ah, moving up on that point, I see. Oh, you feel bigger now. Yes, sir. Right in the schnozberry. This is not rapid fire. This is definitely not like the best white bass fishing I've ever experienced, but it seems to be consistent. There's hundreds of fish just roaming around on the in a giant area. And I'm having to reposition and you know keep casting and trying to figure out where they're moving. They're moving constantly. And like in the summer when it's really, really post spawn, I love to get on like one spot and just drop on them. But right now it's just cat, it's almost like bass fishing. Okay. Slow and steady. Went in the race here today. Yeah! Got him. Inhaled it. Oh yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> Woo! There we go. One day, I'm gonna take Emmy out doing this. One day soon. So much fun. The first fish I ever caught was a white bass. I was three years old on the Tennessee River. I had a Snoopy fishing pole and a little spoon and a big school of them came up right beside the boat and I couldn't cast. I didn't have the ability to cast yet. So I just plopped the spoon on the water 
white bass latched onto it. That's how I caught my first fish. Needless to say, I've been hooked ever since. Woo, man, they are smoking. They're knocking slack in it. This is, de okay, this is definitely the technique here. Definitely the technique. I've repositioned the boat and I, I found them even shallower. They're in like 15 feet of water out here on this point. I'm gonna crush them now. I am going to catch these things and they will be turned in to Golden Krispies. Wow, bam! I'm already getting bit, got him. Got him! Oh yeah, just slamming them. I might actually go for the limit here. I might actually go for the, the actual limit. Oh, what do we got in here? Let's do like a rough estimate. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. I think we have like 17 in there. Load it up on it. Yeah. They're so strong in here. Get on in here, son. Got him in the eyeball. Don't worry. That's the least of your worries, my friend. Come now. Oh, started out slow, but I'm heating up just because of the action. Nothing will warm you up more out fishing than actually catching fish. They're just slamming it. Gosh, I've just got them dialed right here. Woo, there's a big one. There's a big pop. Whoo! Oh yeah! Seems to me like they're moving up on the shallow side of the point now to, to feed. It's just one of those pressure dropping cold front days. Got him. Oh man, like five chased it. Almost went in. Ah. Not as tasty as the crappie, but a close second. Boo! Oh, see him over to my right. See him over to my right. Woo! Just gotta do it, y'all. Gotta do it. So much fun. Feels good to catch a large limit of fish, I gotta tell you. Got him. Eventually he came back. Hey, yeah. So I just went through and I counted them and I have 23. That means I can keep two more. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get this limit, y'all. Look at these customers. Just decided to show up, to finish this off here. Got him. Below the boat. Below the boat, gotcha. One more. Should we cast or drop? I think we should cast. Feels good to lean back on him. You know what I'm saying? Boom, whacked him. Knock slack in the line. The last one. What a good one. Good one to end on. Yeah. Not a giant, but you had, you had heart. And there we go. Full limit, 25 cup. That's kind of a good feeling when you're done fishing. Like just by the rules, like I'm, I'm done. I'm still on the fish, but I I literally can't keep anymore. So I'm, I'm done with my day. It's time to move on. Anyways, y'all got that limit filled feeling, if you know what I'm saying. That, that's a good hashtag. Limit filled, fe ooh, that's a hard thing to say. Limit filled feeling. Let's get it, baby! Yeah. Woo! It's gonna be a rough one! Hemi, the fishing report was good. You wanna see what I got in here? Because we're gonna be frying fish tomorrow. Ooh. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I think that one's still moving. Look at those Nemos. One day, you're going to go out there with me, and we're going to catch them up. Ooh. She's going to bink, bink. She's like, I'm ready now, Dad. Don't put that in your mouth. Don't You'll be it. sniffing them soon. Oh. She's not scared of the fish. As you guys know, I like to let my fish sit on ice overnight. And tomorrow we're kind of doing like a family like work day and stuff. So this is going to work out good. I'm going to put these fish, uh, or at least some of them, into the grease. Uh, and I'm going to show you all my new fryer. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the Cajun four gallon deep fryer. Or as I like to call it, the Crispy 4000. I found this at the greatest gas station on earth, the Bucky's. I was eyeing them for months, and we do a lot of family fish fries here. I grew up uh, doing family fish fries in, a, in just a big old uh, cast iron pot, which is delicious, and you can 100% do that. But this is next level right here. And what's really cool about it is now that I have my grease, I've got my grease in a five gallon bucket right here. I can just keep reusing it and I've got a little uh, system that I'll use to, to filter my grease out. I can basically use this grease for like a year and it's good. So it does take a bunch, but I'll use it, I'll filter it out and reuse it again and again and again and again and it just keeps getting crispier and tastier. So we'll take our food grade BPA free five gallon bucket right here that is full, if it's about three and a half gallons, I really need to add a little bit more. Oh, yeah, baby, that is that crispy juice going in. I don't know if y'all could see through the grease right here, probably not, uh, but there is a metal tube that runs around and it's heated through this back pipe right here. So that back, that back pipe connects to this uh, tube that goes all the way through and out and up here. So that is the exhaust. That is right, my fish fryer has exhaust. So let's light it up and let's get it heating up. It's kind of shocking when you first light it. It feels like a jet engine has just been ignited and that's because this thing can put out 25 pounds of fish an hour. I think, something like that. Now that it's starting to heat up, y'all can kind of see that, that U-shaped pipe in there. So that's the key. And then we come over here and we have our temperature gauge. And it tells you when you're crispy golden, you want to be in that green zone. And that's the proper frying zone. When I tried it out the first time, I got it a little hot, kind of screwed up. So that's the optimal frying temperature right there. Look at the baskets. That's right. Big baskets. Got two of them. So you put them in like that. There's a little bar in the back that holds them. You really want it to be a little higher, like up to about that third uh, little uh, basket wire right there. But I'm going to put some more oil in here. But when you're staging, you just hook it right here to the top. And you're good to go. So then you can just put your fish in there. Um, you know, batter them right here, click them right there, wah bam, let's put them in the grease when you're done. I splurged a little bit, I'll be honest with you, that, that fish fryer right there was $3.99. That was a big hit, but I do cook fish a lot. You guys know, Golden Krispies, that's my program. Just come over here, hot off the dangle, crack a cold one, get your grease hot, and then invite some friends over, you can't right now because it's quarantine times but family fish fry and it just enjoy enjoy the great outdoor greatness I, I just can't say enough about how happy I am with this little system we got going here and I think it's gonna be really good because Cajuns obviously a Cajun made this a Cajun engineered it you don't even compete on cooking fish with uh, people from Louisiana okay uh, people from Louisiana that great state over there has the best fish dishes I've ever had. Uh, they know what they're doing. Now, if you want a good quality, tremendous steak, you come over to Texas, all right? But if you want some delicious fishes, shoo, you go down there to Louisiana and get yourself a Cajun cook. Whoo, 
come on now. So, I trust the unit just off of that. Will this weather make up its mind? We are at optimal temperature right now. Let's just go ahead and dunk these onions and see what happens right here. Let's go on 350. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Okay. We're going to dip it down in there. Wah-bam! Full dunk. Oh, yeah. That is why I got this machine right here. So we got enough oil in there, got four gallons, and I have a mixture of, uh, it's, it's really about three gallons of peanut oil and the rest is canola oil. I am definitely allergic to peanuts, but the peanut oil does not have the protein uh, that I'm allergic to in it, so I can actually consume it. In fact, Chick-fil-A uses this method and I eat a ton of that. I I'm not sure if that's for everybody. Like, don't just go out if you're allergic to peanuts and just try some, because I said that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wait till it turns golden and it starts to float. And because it is fully submerged, we really don't need to, to flip it over or do anything. I'm just gonna shake the basket, make sure it's not connected to that. And while that's cooking, We'll prep our fish. Take our fish, full filet, dunk it in the juice, and then we'll put it in the batter. And I'm gonna do a bunch of these for a batch. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll put about five at a time into this flour mixture, and then you shake it before you bake. So, pop that up, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mmm, spice is going up the nose right now. We take our Cajun babies over here, it's starting to float, almost ready. So then we take our fully flour coated, we put it in our staging basket, absolutely beautiful. Fully coated, ready to turn crispy golden. This isn't the entire reason I fish, but this is certainly an added bonus to the craft. Okay, the onions are looking pretty golden on the outside. I need the, that inside to cook a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and dunk our fish in. Let's go ahead and get a tight shot of that, cameraman. Shut, shut. Always like to get a tight shot of that golden crispy in action. Wabam! There's that sizzle, y'all. Amazing. Still on 350. Doing good. If you're wondering what the flame is like? It's about right there. It's a loose flame. This cooks them up fast, y'all. I'm gonna say within three to five minutes, your fish are done. If you don't have another frying tool, you can always use a wood wedge out of your workshop. I'm gonna just flip these onions. Never cooked an onion like this before, y'all. Never done the blooming style. Basket out. Wah bam. Timer up. We're gonna pull the crispies out. Look at that. You can also put these in a bag, like a Ziploc bag, and shake them up, that works really well. Because <laughs> I'm getting spices up in my nose doing this. So essentially the batter that we're using for these fish is the same batter that's used on a blooming onion. Obviously I didn't cook the full limit today. I put the rest in uh, Ziploc bags or freeze lock bags. What do you call them? Food saver bags. So I food saved them, took all the air out, what have you, labeled them, with the date and what they are and I put them in the freezer so we got three additional fish fry meals out of what we caught today. They look Is delicious. Ready for the taste test. Um, you decided on this onion? Yeah I wanted to do a blooming onion. Um, I haven't had one in years so I looked up like kind of like a recipe like do it yourself kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's a red onion. What How happened are, here? Uh, well uh, I don't know. May, <laughs> we'll see if it's cooked all the way through. I, I, I don't I don't know. I know the fish look amazing. The so white onion too. Let's taste both. Mmm, that smells delicious. Let's do your blooming onion first. I know you have a sauce to go with it. I do. With, I have but, two you know. different sauces upstairs. I think I have to open. I have to bloom it a little bit more. You gotta bloom it. All right, I'm gonna take a base piece here. It's good though. Not bad. Perfect. Perfect. That's five minutes on this glorious crispy four thousand oh. machine. Oh, that's good. Oh, you should, wow. You should have cooked more. Yeah? I should have cooked more? Mm-hmm. You said you only wanted four pieces. I know. Oh, my gosh. 
Wow. I could eat 10 of those. Oh, y'all. I need to write down that recipe. This is the program here. Okay, OSG approves. Y'all, I gotta rate the crispy 4,000. A nine out of 10. It's fantastic. You know, the only cumbersome thing is having to put so much oil in there, four gallons. You're able to cook a bunch with it effectively, efficiently. And then what I'm gonna do here, uh, now that this is done, is I'm gonna pull that little drain plug over there. It's got a little valve lever. I'm gonna take that strainer with a little bit of cheesecloth, set that over my five gallon bucket after it cools down to you know, under 100 degrees and then let that drain in there and I've got my grease for, you know, a bunch of times. Oh my. Mm. And you know we gotta eat them while they're hot, so I'm gonna sign it off here today. But go ahead and smash that like button for limiting out. It's been a while since I've caught a full limit and I've got three more meals like this ready to go in the freezer. Thanks for tuning in with me today, y'all. Links are down below if you wanna check out anything I mentioned in today's video. And I'm gonna sign it off until the next fishing adventure. God bless you. See you soon.